Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we will look at how to create a combo form that registers users and submits a post. So let's get started. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated. So we can click over to USP Forms and create a new form. Let's give it a title. We will call this Submit and Register. We click Publish, and we can now begin building the form. I want to remind you that the title of the form is only seen in the WordPress admin area and never displayed on the front end. So you can be descriptive and creative when naming your USP forms. So now let's begin building our combo form. And to get help with that, we head over to Plugin Planet, and we scroll down to the search field, and we type in Register Submit, and click Search. And then we look here and we see the second tutorial, Submit Content and Register User. So we can click that and now we have a tutorial that explains everything we need to create our combo form. So as explained here, uh, this tutorial provides the minimum requirements for setting up a combo submit register form. But for now, we're just going to keep things simple and follow along with this basic tutorial. So for step one, it says to add these three fields, name, title, and content. So we'll do that now. And then step two, for the registration part, we need to add the email field. And then step three, we need to add these two hidden fields right here. So we go ahead and do that like so. And that is pretty much it for the tutorial. Step four is optional, and it gets into custom fields, which we have not covered yet. We will get to that in a future video. So you can feel free to read through and go further, or you can just stick with the first three steps and keep it uh, a basic form example. So let's uh, see what we have here. These three fields, name, title, and content, these are required fields for any post submission form, and the email field is required for any user registration form. So. Let's put all those together, and we have a combo form. And of course, to make it a combo form, we need to include these two hidden fields. This one here has a value of USP is register, and that means the form will be treated as a registration form. And this hidden field has a value of USP is post submit, so that means the form also will be treated as a post submission form. With both of these, we have a combo form given that we have the required fields. So now with the fields in place, we click Update. And now we can head to USP Forms to copy our shortcode. And we head over to Pages and add the shortcode on any post or page. Click Update, and let's view the page on the front end. And here we go. Here is our combo form that will submit a post and register a user. Now, a couple of things to note here. First, the form automatically fills in the email address and username when the user is logged in, as we are here. If we were to log out and refresh the page, these fields would not be populated because WordPress does not know who we are. So if we were logged out, it would look like this. So because we are logged in, WordPress automatically fills in these values. If we were to log out, these fields would be empty because WordPress does not know who we are. So, the other thing I want to point out is that testing this uh, combo form, we would need to log out because we are already registered with the site, and WordPress knows this. The plugin and WordPress work together to make sure that people can only register one time. So, right now, even if we were to enter a different name, and in a different email address, WordPress would know, hey, this isn't test user and email address at example.com. WordPress knows that this is me and it will not uh, let me register. We could submit a post, but the user would not be registered because they are logged in. Um, so it only works for users who are not registered yet. Now, that means that to test the form, we need to log out. And before wrapping up, we will do that. 
But first, let's head back over to USP Forms, visit our form, and I just want to point out before wrapping up that we can add attributes um, to any of these fields to customize them however we would like. So we can add required attributes, max attributes that limit the number of characters that are allowed. We can customize the label to whatever and the placeholder to whatever. And there are many more attributes that we could add here. For an easy way to add some attributes, we can delete the field and click on the quick tag and here are some attributes that we can customize. So we could customize these however, however we need. And then click OK and we see that the quick tag automatically adds the attributes for us. So whether you add them manually by typing or use the quick tag, just be aware that these fields can be customized with all sorts of different attributes. And if you want to get a complete list of all the attributes, head to Plugin Planet scroll down to USP Pro in the sidebar and click on short codes and here is a complete reference with all fields and their respective attributes. So now that that's said our form is complete and we now have a combo form submit and register. So before wrapping up we are going to test the form to make sure that it works and to do so we first head over to the users screen and we see that only one user currently is registered and this is why the form autofills the name and email address based on the fact that the logged in user is already registered. So in order to test the form, we'll need to log out and we'll do that. And at first, let's also verify that there's only one post. So we see hello world and we see the only user. Now we're going to use our example form here our new combo form and we are going to register a new user and submit a new post. So first we need to log out and then we revisit uh, the form and notice after we refresh the page WordPress no longer uh, fills in our email address and name. So now we are a guest user who is not logged in and we can go ahead and test our user registration form. So let's give it a name call it test user, give it an email address, we'll say email at example.com and we'll call this test post and we'll just give it some example content. So here's the, the title of our post and the content of our post, the author of the post, and this is also the name that will be used when we register with this email address. So now let's click submit and we see that the registration is successful and the post submission is successful. Now let's go ahead and verify that by logging back into WordPress. First let's check the post. Here is our test post with our lorem ipsum content and we also see that a new user has been created. And test user was the name that we entered in the form and the email address is here. So for now, everything is done. We've added a contact form that also registers the user, and we displayed it on a page using its short code, and then we did, went ahead and submitted a test post and registered a user to see that it works. So everything is all set, and we are going to go ahead and wrap this up now. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.